He was arrested on Sunday. 80 year old John Katopka has been here at the Lancaster County Jail. And today we're learning more about what led up to the shooting through court documents. Early Sunday morning, a marriage of 57 years ended in this Lincoln house. According to court documents, Katopka told police he was in the living room with his wife, Janet, when he went upstairs to fully load and get his revolver. He then came down and shot her once in the head. Documents state that Katopka said he started thinking about seriously hurting her 10 days before and that he was exhausted. Now police and health leaders want you to know you're not alone and help is available if you need to get a loved one into a memory care facility. They're there, they're available, and we, we suggest that uh, they always look at those avenues uh, prior to taking drastic actions. The caregivers themselves have experienced medical um, problems simply because of the stress of caring for their, their loved ones at home. Chad Russell with Legacy Point Rehabilitation Center, which offers memory care, says the biggest problem is people don't know there are options. The sad reality of situations like this is that many times they're avoidable. Court documents say Katapka also said he was worried about the financial responsibility of putting Janet in a nursing home. For people that are struggling financially, um, that, that support is available to them through the state Medicaid office. Right now, Katapka has been charged with first degree assault and use of a firearm to commit a felony. He's being held on 10% of a $500,000 bond. Link police say now that Janet has died, those charges will be under review as they do an autopsy. Reporting in Lincoln, Abby Peterson, KETV News Watch 7.